Today, I'm going to be showing you how I made this spine-chilling environment from the first Saw movie by leveraging multiple decals and textures from the Megascans library. I start off by importing my image into FSpy. If you're familiar with this software, it allows you to copy the perspective and angle of a shot and export it as data to use on a camera in 3D space. After I have this, I open up Blender and use the FSpy add-on to import my camera. I start off by blocking out my scene with a simple plane and add edge loose to extrude from to make the shape of the floor. I extrude that plane up to form the walls of this abandoned bathroom. And then I add edge loops to extrude pieces into the wall like this spot for the bathtub. Once the main shape of the room is completed, it's on to basic texture. The Megascans library has a huge variety of textures to choose from. I'm trying to find one that best fits the scene. So old bathroom tiles. These two textures look promising and quite close to the reference. Keep in mind, 9 out of 10 times there will have to be adjustments made to your texture in order for it to fit perfectly in the scene. In some cases, you won't find the right texture on any free sites. After exporting these textures in the blender, I then apply them on the floor and the walls. I scale up both textures so they fit the reference as best as possible, then begin on adding small details like this concrete baseboard. I gave this the same texture as the wall, but changed the color to a darker tone to make it appear as concrete. Now, onto the pipes. I use a cube with a subdivision modifier and extrude it to fit the pipe in the image, using my reference as an overlay on the camera so I can get the closest result duplicating more of these pipes to fill in the room. But oh my diddly do dang, this pipe was especially difficult. When you zoom on the photo, you cannot tell how many pipes there is, where they're going, what's happening, why they're alive, why they exist, why they entered my life, and so forth. Look at this pipe right here. I'm gonna draw a line so you can visualize this. Now, here, right at the corner of the pipe. Which way does it turn? A, up into this pipe. B, into the wall. C, both. Into the ground. Oh, wait. Now, if you pick C, that's absolutely wrong. It's F. To the left and up. Oh, and then A. When I finish adding all the pipes, I go into adding some more assets, such as this spooky urinal. Thankfully, I found this site with many different kinds of urinals for downloading. Take the closest one to the reference and downloaded it. Added that into the scene and made a simple, dirty ceramic texture using a noise texture and a color wrap. Do the same thing into the roughness valley to have some parts of the urinal reflective and some not. Same texture for this wall mount thing, except darker. Now, onto the toilet. This was a bit harder to find. After some trouble with Turbo Squid, I found a model in CG Trader. Scaled it to the right size and stuck it onto the wall. Added the same procedural texture as the urinal and moved on to making up the broken tile patches in the wall. I duplicated the wall and moved it ever so slightly back and textured it darker. Then added edge loops on the original wall so I could extrude out specific tiles from the wall. Repeating that for this wall too. Now, it's time for the fun part. Gathering different decals to scatter around the scene. I found this gradient leakage texture and placed it behind all the pipes and corners. As you can see, this made the scene pop out even more and feel even spookier. Now, to make that creepy bathtub you see in the wall there. Searched for a solid 30 minutes to find a 3D model and found a perfect one on Sketchfab. But it wasn't for download. Since it was a bathtub, it was pretty simple to model. A cube with a subdivision modifier and some motivation made a beautiful bathtub. I used this YouTube video to add some procedural rust on the tub. Link in the description. I used the same texture for all the pipes in the scene too, although changed some to a darker rust color to add more variety. Then it was on to making this wall broken up and destroyed. I used a sphere with a displacement modifier on it and used a boolean modifier to put a huge dent in this concrete wall. Now I have to find a texture to put on the inside of this wall because the tile one doesn't really fit. Found this texture on Pixelbridge, old cement wall. Perfect. Slap that on there and shade it smooth. Now for more decals. Found a couple damaged concrete ones and put those on there too. These toilets are looking too clean. Let's add some mud splashes on that boy. More leakage decals for the baseboards and the floor and that's a huge improvement. Still quite a few things missing however. Blood. I won't be adding the dead guy in the scene, but who says I can't add the puddle of blood he left behind. After that, I'll add even more decals to the pipes, floors, and urinal with some additional models of broken up concrete around the walls here. Almost forgot about the lights. Let's make those. Shift A, add a plane, and extrude it out. Make a bevel at the top to create a roof and fill in the sides. Extrude those out and then add a plane in the middle. Duplicate this outer wall and use a ray modifier to copy it throughout the light. Add that rust texture on the edges and a glass texture for the roof. The light itself is just an extruded cube with an emission texture. Duplicate that light a couple times and add this hanging light to make this environment seem even older. 
I made some wire for the lights to hang on there so they're not just floating. Then I added a whole lot more leakage and mud stain decals to the scene so that if anyone was to use this bathroom in real life, they would be pooping bricks and getting out of there as fast as possible. There you have it, a full workflow of this project. Next time you make an environment in Blender, almost no matter what it is, decals are your best friend. Thank you so much for sticking through and watching to the end. If you want to help out the channel, like and subscribe so I can make more content just like this.